Let's try this again. How about now? There we go. Got it fixed. <laughs> My bad, guys. Alrighty. Well, hello to everyone. Uh, yes, I'm aware. I know there's a delay, so it just takes a second. All right. This song that I'm working on today is a lot different than stuff I've done <clears throat> recently, at least. I've done stuff like this before, but um, this is a more like rock style track. And the vocalist I'm going to be having on this, Jeremy Sutherland, is has this like gritty kind of rock vocal. So it's going to be pretty cool. I'm excited about this. So I'm just going to just going to go and play it. Uh, this is just a dummy vocal. So to those of you, you know, as I play this, I mean, people are always going to comment things like redo the vocal or need to pitch correct the vocal. Like, I know, I know it's not done. Okay. So that, that's like literally what we're, what we're working on. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's play it from the start. The demons inside my head, they say they want me dead. But I know that I'm dreaming away Boys inside my brain Thoughts make me feel insane I feel I'm one step from the edge I'm one more step away from this Oh, hey Can't you see how I'm falling apart? I'm afraid of the one I become I know that I'm not alone But feel like I got no one No one who can save me from myself oh, oh, oh. I really think I need some help I'm drowning in fear and anxiety Right now I'm feeling so alone Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When I brought this on to myself I don't Change. I know I can't be the same as I was, no I know it all starts with me I know I can't be the same as before I don't want to be alone mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to be working on. I do have live drums here. You can see the drum set behind me. So that's what this is. Yours truly on the drum set. I'm not like the best drummer in the world, but I'm good enough. This song was pretty easy. All right. So we're going to start pretty much from the top and start tackling this. I want to start almost 
entirely from scratch in a lot of ways because this is still kind of like just a really rough dummy production. So um, I already know that I kind of want to have like a little bit of an electronic rock cinematic vibe. So we're going to see how we can do that. Um, I, I'm going to definitely have live guitar, live bass, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So the very first thing I want to do is... The demons is get the guitar, get the guitar going. Um, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to start with the keyboard instrument here. So we're going to start just with some hammers and waves stuff. I like the Obscuro Grand a lot. <coughs> kind of build something from scratch here. Oh, maybe not. There we go. There's a question about, am I on Twitch? Nope. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, I freaking hate it when this happens. Okay. Just on the YouTubes. What's up, Luan? Soften it up a little bit more. I'm one more step away from this. Oh, hey, can't you see? Okay. guitar here. Not gonna lie, it's been it's been a minute since I played guitar. Bye. 
it tuned. The boring part. Sheesh. Amp Sam on, which I'm using Native Instruments, Guitar Rig, and I am oftentimes going to just build my stuff from scratch. I like the cool plex. Whoa, not like that. I like the... Getting there. Dynamics, compressor. We'll add a noise gate. Oh my gosh. What? Okay. There it goes. Like replica for a delay. Go with the diffusion mode. There we go.
we'll just comp that.
that EQ so I can hear us a little better. I don't want to be alone, I'm scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I got the one. No one who can save me from myself. Uh. that I think I'm gonna redo this little part here. One who can save me from myself. You know what? I'm gonna do this on a new track. I'm gonna do use a pick on this. No, this is Jeremy Sutherland. Different amp on this. If I can actually hear this, just change this up a little bit. There we go. Let's kind of open it up a little bit. I need to tune in. some help I'm drowning in fear and
going to do the good old double pan. If you want things to sound wide, this is a good strategy of doing that. Basically, you just like double track it and then you pan, put one far right, one far left, and then it sounds super wide. I really think I need some help. I'm drowned. The demons inside my head, they say they want me dead But I know that I'm dreaming away Poison inside my brain, thoughts make me feel insane I feel I'm one step from the edge I'm one more step away from this Time for some bass. This is not my voice. Trust me, I don't have a voice that's good. Gosh dang, why am I keep getting that?
I love track and bass. Uh, I don't want to be alone. Scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I got the one. No one who can save me from myself. Oh, oh, oh. The vocalist's name is Jeremy Sutherland. I really think I need some help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety. Right now I'm feeling so alone. Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one, the one I should blame. When I brought this on to myself. There we go. I like that. That's cool. So I'm going to do uh, another. Okay. So basically I'm going to do the same thing I did before where, so the question about ozone being on the, on the end here, that's just so it sounds good when I'm recording. Like this is not actually the master <laughs> things that you do when you're producing to make it sound nice and loud. So you're not depressed and sad. That's fine. As long as you turn it down later. I really think I need some help I'm drowning in fear And anxiety Right now I'm feeling uh. so alone Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When I brought this on to myself Okay, I gotta... I gotta make sure I'm lining this up with the kick that I've got here, because it's a pretty cool rhythm here. I really think I need some help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety. Ah, right now I'm feeling so, so alone. Where did you go? So where did you go? Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Okay, that's a little closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> yeah, I need to be able. To, I need to be able to see that. So I'm actually looking at the kick. I'm looking at the mini notes down here. That's how I know how I'm doing it right. I really think I need some help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety. Right now I'm feeling so alone. Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When I brought this on to myself Oh yeah. Alright, so then You pan one, pan the other And then you end up with an ultra wide oh, I really think I need some help I'm drowning in fear and anxiety Right now I'm feeling so alone Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When I brought this on to myself So at the moment, I'm using the Focusrite uh, 8 channel, what is it? Claret Pre, which is a great sounding, it's great. Um, but I also have an Antelope audio interface I use a lot, so it kind of depends on what I'm feeling. I don't want to be alone, scared I'll die. So this question of why do you finish the record when you hit a wrong note in between? Because we can comp. So like... I'm not going to stop in the middle if I still have really good performance stuff. It's going to happen. So I'm not going to stop in the middle when I can comp. I'll die. I don't want to be alone. I'm scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I got the one. No one. You know, 
what? I think I'm just gonna hold these notes now that I'm thinking about a nice side chain. Uh, I don't wanna be alone, I'm scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of what I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I got the world. No one who can save me from myself. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I like that a lot better, actually. I don't wanna. think I need some help I'm drowning in fear and anxiety right now I'm feeling so alone where do you cool I like this this is pretty sweet um so I'm gonna do something that I think will be pretty fun low drop designer if you don't know what drop designer is, y'all, what are you doing? Where is it? Where is it? Where is drop designer? There we go. All right. Ugh. This kind of sucks. I kind of need to go pee. <laughs> so this is a sampler. Um, and what I'm going to do with it is drop. Oops. I'm going to drop some... Uh, something in here oh my gosh where's evolution keep for us there we go where the heck are they tiktoks here we go oh these are not the loop ones i want the loop ones loops tiktok oh yeah you know what these ones are not in six eight that's not gonna work Shoot. Shoot, that sucks. It's in B minor. The song's in B minor. Uh, that's okay. We'll do something different. Let's do some boss. Um, here we go. Uh, you and me both. You think I like having to just like randomly stop and go to the bathroom? Heck no. All right, so check this out. not really digging that that's okay might come back to this okay you know what i'm just gonna play this from the top for you guys i really got to use the restroom i drink so much water the demons inside my head they say they want me dead but i know that i'm dreaming away boys inside my brain thoughts make me feel insane I feel I'm one step from the edge I'm one more step away from this Oh, hey Can't you see how I'm falling
think I need some help I'm drowning in fear and anxiety Okay, so funny. Go to the restroom and then have an idea. I love when that happens. Okay, so I'm going to add some strings. Let's start actually making this cinematic, shall we? So these, oh, I love these strings. Um, these are the Oliver Arnold's ones. Yes, I washed my hands. <laughs> I don't want to be alone, scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I got the world. No one who can save me. Ah, no. I don't want to be alone, scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I got the one. No one who can save me from myself. Oh. Uh, no, these are my drums. The drum set behind me. That's me playing. Okay, why is this not for gonna feel like I got, got the world? No one yeah, I mean. Setting up a drum set, miking, all that jazz, it, it's time consuming, but it was one of those things I really wanted to do for this one. Okay, and here, here's the other thing I love about the Olafur um, flutter strings, I'll call it that. The Olafur Arnold stuff, you can have these advanced ones where you can do like these individual evolutions and you can get some really stinking cool stuff. Like I really like this wow effect one. Listen to this. That one's pretty cool. I have an eight channel interface. Okay, I don't understand one of my least favorite things about logic. I don't wanna be alone, scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I got Heck yeah. 
Throw some crystalline on there. some LFO tool. Some help. I'm drowned. Uh, it's an LFO tool, is what it's called. Really think I need some help. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to show you the vocal chain because it's not the final vocal chain. This is literally just a dummy track. Oh, I really think I need some help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety. Right now I'm feeling so alone Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When I brought this on to myself Cool I really think I need some help I'm drowning in fear and anxiety Right now I'm feeling so alone Where did you go? Where so did you where go? did you All right, I'm gonna show you something I'm, I sometimes like doing. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> the dummy vocals that you get are literally this great. Uh, this is, honestly, this is, um, this is, I don't know, this is going to sound a little mean. I don't mean it mean. I just mean this, like, this is just how it is. When you're, when you're working at a professional level, this is the expectation. So you, you would expect to get really high quality. Okay. That's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. Um, let's do input two. Hang tight, I'm gonna mute myself for a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna have to turn this all down. I think I need some help. I'm drowning in fear. And help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety. Right now I'm feeling so alone. Where did you go? So where did Okay, there's one. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this in a second. So stick click. I like doing as much live stuff as I can. The soft obscura is hammers and waves.
more gain. Here we go. go. So Now, what we do is we time align. This is the only time I will literally ever use flex for this stuff. Right now I'm feeling so alone. Where did you go? Okay, so then we wind up with these uh, pretty cool. Go. So where did you go? Okay. So we want these little two bar loops here. Go. So where did you go? Dude, the vocal is a dummy vocal, which means we've literally not even done vocal. Kind of, oh my gosh. I feel like I have to say stuff like a thousand times sometimes. Right now I'm feeling so alone. Okay, now here's what I'm going to do with the soft click is drop designer. Okay, so grab the audio. Oopsies. Ah, is it not going to let me drop directly in? That's right, I forgot. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna export just this. Okay, so then we can go into Drop Designer and I can now grab this audio and drop it in. And it's going to be able to recognize what it is. Maybe. Okay, why is it not... Okay, maybe not. Why are you not behaving? Something wrong with this sample, maybe. What did I do? Ah, oh, frickin' stupid. I know what I did. 32 through 34. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I, I know what I did. I dropped like too much of it. I dropped the whole thing. There we go. No, 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 no. I am really acting dumb right now. 32, 34, oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Soft. <laughs> okay, gee whiz. Apparently, I'm dumb. I just want the, 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 the one, the one. What on freaking... Okay, reset, reset, reset. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this all over again. <laughs> Apparently I'm a moron. 
Apparently, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I can start manipulating it. Heck yeah. Okay, now I can actually do this. I really think I need some help. Okay, there we go. And then we just loop it. Or just keep making it like I really think I need some help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety. Right now I'm feeling so alone. Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one, the one I should blame. When I brought this on to myself, I don't wanna be. I really think I need some help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety. Right now I'm feeling so alone Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When Okay I see a listening context now The demons inside my head They say they want me dead But I know that I'm dreaming Boys inside my brain Thoughts make me feel insane I feel I'm one step from the edge I'm one more step away from this Oh, hey Can't you see how I'm falling No, this is not my voice. This is another singer. <clears throat> I really think I need some help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety. Right now I'm feeling so alone. Where did you go? So I'm drowning in fear and anxiety Performing producer, that's the vocalist we've got. All right, time to add more strings. Since you said strings, I was like, let's do more strings, shall we? Okay, um, 
Okay, I gotta make sure I get that cut off right. Duh. And then. Oh. Gotta get more ROM, you know what I mean? Not really answering mixed questions right now, sorry.
And this is where it gets cool. I don't want to be alone, scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one i become. Pretty happy with those drums, not going to lie. Oh, I really think I need some help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety. Right now I'm feeling so alone. Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one, the one Heck I yeah. should blame. When I brought this on to myself. Heck yes. Okay, I actually did record this other drum thing. I just want to see if that'll even sound good. Okay, you know what? I need to, first of all, I need to group these because I just realized that they're not, oh, freaking. Oh. That is not good. Okay, so first things first, I definitely don't want those on that. I want those on two. And two is drums distorted and editing enabled. If you ever work with live drums, it, it's uh, there's a lot more to it than other stuff. <laughs> Okay, so then I'm actually going to drag this over to that part. All right, I still got to edit those. Those are not editable. Edited. Okay, so now this is where things get fun for me because there's this, the producer that I learned from always did this and, and I do it now because it's freaking sick. And that is layer up distorted electric guitars with vintage synth bass. And it sounds freaking dope. electric bass first because that'll be kind of what I base the rest of this off of base the rest of it <laughs> sorry I couldn't help myself distorted boss right okay so here's how this goes you got the bass and you remove the low end and then you make it high so it's got bite where the heck might they go?
that joke was it was a great joke. All right, we gotta get more more volume. More compression. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. And then we get the this guy here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Bass. So. haven't done a rematch with Forrest. <laughs> Asking the same question over and over again, it's not gonna, yeah. There we go. You almost wanna sound like electric guitar. Now we go for it. Get a feel for it, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's actually what's going on. I have the V the the seventy six going on in a guitar rig actually. Then what we do is we double that, duplicate it, pan one right, pan one left, 
do it again, and then it's gonna sound freaking wide. Yeah. Try this on to myself. I don't wanna be alone. Scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I've become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I've got the one. No one who can take me from myself. Oh. 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 Oh, yeah. A little little mess up there. I'm gonna turn this one down. If you're thinking that doesn't sound very like low endy, don't worry. It's gonna get low endy. Gone. That sounds good. I'm gonna do it one more time. There's a little flop still. Those little nuanced differences are actually not a bad thing. There was one thing in there that I know I'm gonna need to comp. Get this out of the way here. Oh, okay, here we go. And then what you do is, what you do then is you group these together so that way when you change the volume of one, you change the volume of both. Okay, I'll edit those later. Okay, so then uh, go to the sub kind of synth bass that I've got, and then. I love that so much. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that again. There was a. I was kind of feeling it out a little bit. I'm gonna compress the crap out of this though. And distort it. Distort, baby. Heck yeah.
like freaking yeah. I'm gonna do it. I I love I love playing this stuff and it's so fun. Super eight bass. on it Performing it right is actually kind of hard. Kind of fix this all later. Oh, I don't want to be alone, scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not. No one who can save me from myself. I know. know I have to change. Okay. Time to get the rest in here. I need to back up and listen to the whole thing now. The demons inside my head, they say they want me dead. But I know that I'm dreaming away. Always inside my brain, thoughts make me feel insane. I feel I'm one step from the edge. I'm one more step away from this Oh, hey Can't you see how I'm falling apart? I don't want to be alone I'm scared I'll die on my own I'm afraid of the one I've become I know Some hell. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety Right now I'm feeling so alone Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When I brought this on to myself I don't Okay, time to add some guitars. 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 All right, time to go drop D on this mother. Oh, 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 oh. 
turn this into screamo music. I don't get to do this very often. I think on that little interlude. I know I have to change. Heck yeah. Heavy guitar. Right. Let me duplicate. Go le oh, left. Turn that guy down. I don't wanna be alone, scared of There we go. this to myself. I don't wanna be alone, scared of die on my own. I'm this other part separately. Because I want to do a little bit of a different voicing.
I'm actually going to do this a couple of times. So then that kind of covers the basics. I don't want to be alone, scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I've got the one. No one who can take me from myself. Oh, oh. I'm I don't want to be alone Scared I'll die on my own I'm afraid of the one I've become I know that I'm not alone But feel like I've got Alright, and then this one um, I'm going to do more of like a lead Type thing not using a preset.
I know I have to This is not my voice. More simple, more simple. Notes, 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 notes. when people join the stream and they don't know that this is just a dummy vocal it is a dummy vocal it's a dummy vocal it's a dummy vocal all right rant over I know I have to change All right, let's back up The demons inside my head They say they want me dead But I know that I'm dreaming away Boys inside my brain Thoughts make me feel insane I feel I'm one step from the edge I'm one more step away from this Oh, hey, can't you see 
how I'm falling apart. Let's give him a break, everybody. I don't want to be alone. I'm scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I got no one. No one who can save me from myself. Oh, oh, oh. I really I think I need some help I'm drowning in fear and anxiety Right now I'm feeling so alone Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When I brought this on to myself I don't Demi, demo, and dummy. It's all the same. It's all the same. Okay. I'm going to grab this. Put it here. I don't want to be alone. Scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid. Okay, time to add some more cinematic stuff. Because it can't be cinematic rock without, without more cinematic stuff. So whenever you're doing strings like this, if you have a string part like this, it's really good to add an octave below. Like this. And then, yeah, we need to kind of work that out a little bit better. I don't want to be alone, scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I've become. I know that I'm not. Yeah. 
Yeah, so like velocities like this, all these really hard ones, pretty much all need to come down a smidge. When it comes to strings like this, like velocities are the culprits pretty much all the time. here. I know I have to change, I know I can't be the same as I was, no, I know it all stopped. Strings, strings, strings. There we go. I know I have to change. I know I can't be the same as I was. No, I know it all starts with me. I know I can't be the same. I know I can't be the same as I 
as I was, no I know it all starts with me give us an extra bar of space there. There we go. I know I have to change. I know I can't be the same as I was, no. I know it all starts with me I know I can't be the same as before I know I have to change I know I can't be the same as I was, no I know it all starts with me I know I can't be the same as before I'm going to add a transition moment. I'll add it. some cool texture so when we're doing this I like this instrument. It takes a little bit of tweaking to get right, but it does sound does sound good. like a really raw sound thing I know I have to change I know I can't be the same as I was no I know it all starts with me I know I can't be the same as before before
I know I have to change I know I can't be the same As I was, no I know it all starts with me I know I can't be the same As before All right, let's take one last listen and then I have a call that I'm already late for. So, here we go. The demons inside my head They say they want me dead But I know that I'm dreaming away Always inside my brain Thoughts make me feel insane I feel I'm one step from the edge I'm one more step away from this Oh, hey Can't you see how I'm falling apart? Some help. I'm drowning in fear and anxiety Right now I'm feeling so alone Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When I brought this on to myself I don't wanna I just realized that my call is actually not till I was an hour off of my call, so I'm not late to my call. Uh, I don't know why you think Logic drums. I did. This isn't Logic drums. These are these are my drums. Um, this is live drums. So. have not been processed because the vocals are not done.
just even getting a, a, a balanced mix on this is going to help a ton. Yeah, this is going to help a ton to get it just to honestly just get a balanced mix on this is going to be a huge difference. I think the strings in this chorus are a little busy. Um, yeah. I don't want to be alone, scared I'll die. This is just one vocal. There's there. I, I he sent me a couple harmonies. I didn't put them in just because I, I whenever I'm like producing, I just prefer hearing just a lead. Um, but yeah. Da 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 da. I'm gonna mute this vocal. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do this now since good just teaching moment and I'm feeling I'm feeling generous. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit drums because super super important and really valuable. So these drums right here, uh, the question about atmosphere, I don't really have a pre I don't I don't know, I don't have it. Okay, so drums right here obviously not super great in time. I just like quickly whipped this up this morning. So here's how we edit. You edit to the grid and you use the scissor tool in crossfade. And you basically go in and you try to find the transients and you just do this. So you guys heard that performance. It's not like that great. We're gonna cut on the transients. We're gonna move them right on to the grid. I'm looking up here to make sure I'm on the beat. So like this one should be right here and you can see it's early. Cut right on the transient, move it, boom. Go to beat three, that's a little early. Move it on the train, boom. And if you are not doing this, if you are producing with live drums and not doing this, that's why your drums sound like crap. Just saying. So this is now late, we're gonna push that forward. Also, whenever people say things like, pros don't do that, uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should actually uh, spend time around some pros. Because you're not going to be able to even hear that I did these edits. Also, when you do this enough, my goodness, you get so fast at it. That's okay. If it's like smidge early, it's not the end of the world. Which is also part of the realism. Oh, here's the other thing. Whenever people say, whenever people say things like, because uh, this is the other thing I've heard people say, you're going to suck the life out of it. Friends, the life of a performance is actually not just rhythm. <laughs> uh, and, and locking something to grid does not like kill the performance. Every single record ever in the last 20, 30 years has edited drums. <laughs> like, yeah. Anyway, I'm responding to people not even commenting this. I'm just saying it because this is something that I've heard so many people, especially amateurs, frankly, say this stuff and they just frankly like you guys just don't know like until you actually work in a studio you, you can't say pros don't do this this is 1000 percent done i am feeling spicy feeling so salty that's okay you guys may be blown away at how good this is going to sound that's the thing this is almost like this is almost like magic You're gonna see what this does is makes it so it actually sounds completely perfect. Like here's the thing too, if you quantize your MIDI, you're literally just doing the same thing. Like, like this is quantizing audio. Almost done. And yes, this is super time consuming, very time consuming. 
The crossfade masks the cut, so you're not going to actually hear it. If you don't add a crossfade, you're going to hear these little pops and clicks. The crossfade makes it so you don't hear any pops and clicks. So if we were to do all these cuts without any pops or clicks, you hear all, you, or with, with, yeah, if you were to make all these cuts without using the crossfades, you would be hearing these like really weird sounds of these like the clicking, popping kind of sounds. The crossfades make it so that we don't actually hear the edits at all. There we go, just like that. Now the fade at the end. And that's what it looks like. Yes, so now listen to this. Heck frickin' yeah. Listen to that now. Boom. Uh, can you use flex for this? That's the question. I don't recommend it. Flex is going to get you all flex in my opinion is not very good for drums. It's not very good for really much of anything except for, <laughs> uh, it's really, so basically here's the problem with flex flex, uh, is an algorithm and it's going to give you artifacts. And so when you are utilize, when you're using flex pitch, you're going to hear artifacts very often, not always, but frequently. And so that's, that's like one of the big reasons why I, I don't use flex. Um, like the studio that I work, here's the thing, like flex, in my opinion, same thing with like flex pitch is more for like people who want a quick solution to get it done and it's not necessarily going to be at like a professional level. I don't mean that in like a knock on people, but so like this is almost 10 years ago that I worked in a studio and we edited everything this way. Like the way I just did these drums, this is, this is how, like, this is how most professionals work. I'm not saying no professionals don't use the algorithmic software. I know some that do, but even they would tell you like there are times where it just doesn't work. Um, so yeah. Can I share the VSTs for you to search for? I mean, I have like hundreds. <laughs> uh, are the instruments played to non-edited drums? Uh, no. So when I'm, so here's what happened. I recorded the main drums yesterday. I edited the drums before I track anything else. Um, that way, and by the way, I'm, I'm tracking those live drums to a click. I'm tracking them to uh MIDI instruments that are quantized. This drum patch right here, the drum part here that I had, I did this today. I just hadn't edited it yet, ed edited it yet because I wasn't even sure if I was going to use it yet. So that was kind of the, yeah, that was kind of the thing there. So, yeah. Yeah, Pro Tools is really good for editing. Logic's just Lo Logic works just as well though. So like I worked in Pro Tools at that studio and yes, Pro Tools is a superior DAW for audio. I do not like it as a composing tool and that's like building arrangements, working with MIDI, Pro Tools is not good for that. Whenever people ask questions like uh, this, there's this question here, what's the best drum library? I just don't believe there's such a thing. Like, I, I just, you're never going to hear me say like, this is the best because it best for what? You know what I mean? Like that, that's the big thing. It needs to be the best for what? So I just don't believe in like the best. Um, yeah. So that, that's really kind of where I, 
that's where I land on it. Like, there's some really good ones for like, again, like just like, what are you going for? Because uh, if you're going for like, um, oh my gosh, the oh my gosh, if you're going for like really grungy drums, Butch Vig is good. If you want like really good session drum stuff, then you would probably want to go with like session or studio drummer is good. Drum lab is good. Battery four, just battery four is good. Um, but, but to be honest with you, like none of them are good by themselves. Like I always layer drums. So like, for example, if you look at the drums here that I recorded, I still, I have samples layered in with this. So here I'll show you what these drums sound like without any samples. And then I'll show you what they sound like with samples. So here's the drums. Okay, so this isn't like bad, but it's not like nearly as good as I want it. Here's what it sounds like when you throw samples in with it. So yeah, I mean like I wanted that kick to be a little more boomy. Um, just like for this style, I was kind of imagining like some of the Imagine Dragons ass drums and I'll probably mix it that way to get a little more just boo, 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 like boomy thumpy kick as opposed to like that tight kick sound. Cause, cause without the samples, the kick is pretty tight. It's, it's good, but it's not, it's not like wacky and boomy and I wanted it more like wacky and boomy. And then the other thing is like the snare, here's the snare sample. Here's the actual snare. So the actual snare has more of like a kind of sound. And then the sample that I use is more of like a, I don't know, like a, has a little bit of a longer tail. I added a little bit of reverb on it. Uh, and then the toms, same thing, like the toms. Here, here's the fill. Right, that's my kit. And then, but then you like put that in with the samples. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, basically like hybrid drum production has been a thing for like fricking 15 years. <laughs> like this is not new. This, this method of producing drums has been around for a very long time and it is standard practice this is done on again like if you listen to any record that has live drums they are doing this like if you if you're listening to like imagine dragon stuff i absolutely promise you i absolutely promise you they have drums that that have samples uh, the question here is am i composing or mixing everything <laughs> i mean i just produced this whole thing pretty much during the stream so this is my song. I wrote this song. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I mean like basically the reason I record live drums is because there's nothing that beats the realism of a, of a live player. And even if you are adding, uh, people say replacement, sample replacement. It's not replacement. It's layering. Uh, I'm not replacing the sounds. I'm layering the sounds. We still have the live kit. I'm not replacing anything. I'm still keeping the original kit. Um, and then the live kit is what adds that, that like human element that you just cannot get with MIDI. And then the MIDI samples are essentially beefing up the tone to make the kit sound bigger. And that's really the, that's really like the philosophy between, uh, around like this style of, of stuff is essentially you're utilizing the live drum set to add realism. And then you're adding sample layers yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it's like really bad, then sure. Just go ahead and replace it. That's fine. But like, if, if it sounds bad, then just re-record it <laughs> like that. This is the thing that, again, this is like another, like, this is the other thing that to be like totally, yeah, blunt. And, and some people don't like that. Some people do. I prefer being blunt and direct. If your drum set sounds like crap, just don't record it. 
like I've got a pretty darn good sounding kit and I like, I like the sound of my kit and I have worked to make the snare sound the way that I want it to sound for this style of music and for the style of music that I also do. But if your drum set sounds like poop and if you, you know what I mean? Like, so this is the problem is that some people are going to be like, Oh, just, just replace the sounds because it sounds bad. It's like, that's the mindset of an amateur. Like pros don't do that. Like, like pros are going to be like, okay, this kit doesn't sound very good. What can we do to make it sound good? Does it need new heads? Does it need to be tuned? Uh, is it mic placement? Is it the, is the room really bad? Like what's, what's causing this kit to not sound good. And then they're going to, they're going to work to actually make the kit sound good. And so it's like a lot of people will record drums, like amateurs that record drums are like, man, why doesn't it sound good? It's like, because recording drums is freaking hard. Like recording live drums is probably one of the hardest things to do. It's really freaking hard to record live drums. It's not, not, it's not easy. So when it comes to live drums, uh, you know, you've got so many factors to be thinking about. You've got the, the drum heads. And if you're using drum heads that have been on there for a year, it's going to sound bad. <laughs> Tuning, you need, to, you need to actually tune your kit. Like I've tuned this kit like five, like five times in the last, I don't know how long, like since I've gotten it, because I'm trying to make sure that it actually sounds great on its own. And then mics, the mics you use on it matters actually a lot. Like drum recording is one of those few things that I actually think the mics you use does matter. Like if I use, um, like I've tried, uh, like my LA 220 on the snare and then the LS 208, both of those are Loughton mics. The 208 sounds like a hundred times better, a hundred times better. It handles the transients different. It, it's more, it's a better sound for the snare. Um, and then the same thing for like Tom's, you know, I've tried out a bunch of different things, but if you want those like really cut, like cutting, uh, if you want the Tom's to really cut through, then using a pair of like pencil mics actually sounds killer. Um, yeah. This the, what the comment about the end of the day, all that matters is what you hear. I, I mean, I agree with that. So, but, but at the end of the day, all I'm saying is, is that if you're working with drums, make the drums sound good. You can layer still. I'm not saying don't layer like I'm layering, but make them sound good on their own first <laughs> and then layer. Like if you're, if you're like, if your approach is, oh, I record this kit sounds like crap. Let's just sample replace. It's like, then what's the freaking point? Just, just program the drums. It's a heck of a lot easier to just program the drums. So yeah. Um, Jason. No, I don't use the session guitar list libraries. I just don't think they're very good. I love native instruments. I'm a huge fan, but like I play guitar and if there's a guitar part, that's like a little trickier than I can do. I have people I can call that I'll, that I'll get to play. Um, I, I yeah, like I would rather not use <laughs> that unless it's something really simple. So y'all. Yo, yo, yo. Editing, by the way, like when I, I'm going to be editing all this stuff that we recorded live. So like the bass, the guitars, all that stuff's going to get, going to get edited. Um, and it's going to sound really good. It's going to sound really great. That like editing is one of those pieces that like if I were to, so with my program producer accelerator, we have about a thousand students. And over the last two years, I've listened to over a thousand songs that I've given feedback to or feedback on. We have people on the chat who are are in the course, so you guys can verify this. One of the things I comment on very frequently is editing, is I get these songs that I'm gonna give feedback on, and when we go through them, it's like the guitars are out of time, the, the bass is out of time, the vocals are out of time, like things are not locked to the grid. And this is something that, again, professionals are anal about, like really OCD about. You have to edit your stuff to the grid. If you don't edit your stuff to the grid, you're going to have a really friggin' hard time making it sound professional. Like this to me right now, like what we're, what we're listening to, it does not sound professional yet because I haven't edited these guitars and basses. Like once I edit this stuff, like you guys don't even realize how big of a difference it makes. Like just think about the drums. If you were here when I edited those drums, like y'all remember what that sounded like before I did those edits? Like it, it's not like terrible, but like at the end of the day, it sounds, it sounds a heck of a lot better. So all I'm saying is 
is that if you are working with audio, like live guitars, bass, you know, drums, whatever, vocals, you have to edit, like meticulously edit. It has to be edited. And if you don't edit, it's just, it's not going to sound professional. There, there are a few like very core things um, that stand out to me immediately as like, yep, this is an amateur production. Like this is not a professional production. The very first is it's not edited. It, the moment I start hearing rhythmic problems, I'm immediately pulled out of like, yep, this is not, this is not a professional production. The second thing is, is sound choice. If the sounds just sound cheap, I'm like, yeah, this, the pro didn't do this because sound selection is absolutely key. You need to know like how to get really great sounding sounds. And like part of that is having access to great sounding sounds, like having sound libraries, which is why like for the last freaking six years that I've had this YouTube channel, I've been preaching buy sample libraries. Don't buy more EQ and compression plugins. Cause if your sounds don't sound great, it doesn't matter. Um, so you need to have killer sounds. And, and then the third thing is performance. Like if, if you don't, if you don't have really good performances, then it, it won't sound good it won't sound professional. Like, like when I'm working with a singer, so obviously we've talked about this, you know, this is a, a dummy vocal or a demo vocal. Um, like Jeremy and I'll do a session together. It's going to be a remote session. We haven't talked about how we're going to do this quite yet. We'll talk about that, Jeremy. But like the, the thing is, is that like, for me, I, I always, I have to be present for the vocal session. I have to be. I don't do stuff where it's like, yeah, I'll send you the track and you just like track vocals and send it back to me. I don't do that because that is a major part of my job as a producer is I'm the one who is making sure and ensuring that every single thing is as good as it needs to be. So, you know, I think at the end of the day, um, at the end of the day, when I'm working with vocalists, a big part of my job is coaching them through the session and helping them get the best performance. Like my job is to get a performance out of a singer they didn't even know they had inside of themselves. And, and that's like the, the best part of it is when you, when you pull out a vocal, like a performance that is nuanced, that is detailed, and that is capturing exactly what that song needs, that is what you need. So, um, BK's question. Yeah. So we, we're, we'll use, uh, sessions like Lander basically, um, might not necessarily use the sessions plugin or not pl uh, video chat, but we could probably do it over zoom, but you can use the Lander sessions plugin. That's what I'm actually using to get the audio to the stream here. You can see it right here. It's this guy right here. Allows me to stream my DAW audio. So all that is to say, like I did a vocal session like a week and a half ago. Like typically I want to be in the same room also. Like that's a whole other thing too. Like I usually am, I usually am, um, what am I trying to say? I'm usually in the same room with, with a vocalist. Uh, in this case, it's, it's not going to be this way, but I'll, I'll be in the same room virtually where I'm going to be able to hear these, the performances. I'll be able to give notes and feedback and thoughts and stuff, but it's really important for me to be with a singer when I'm, when I'm doing vocals. And so like a week and a half ago, um, I was in a studio. I was not in my studio. I was at a studio a couple hours away and they have a vocal room, right? And I don't use it. I want the singer to be next to me because there's something about being able to actually just turn around and just have a conversation is very relational. And I find that the, the ways you get the best performances out of singer is making it very comfortable for them. And uh, like half of the job is psychology, <laughs> Um, but what, I, what I'm really trying to get to is like the performances are absolutely essential. And so I'll give feedback on a lot of these songs where it's just like this vocal is just, it's not good enough. And I don't mean that in like a mean way. I don't mean that in like a, you suck kind of a way. It just means this, you didn't pay enough attention to the details. You're not paying attention to the nuances. Like I just had a conversation with a, a, a really good friend of mine. He's a producer. He's worked on stuff with, you know, millions, millions of streams. He's worked with like Circina and we were having this conversation about like what, and, and essentially what it came down to is like one of the biggest differentiators 
from a professional producer to like an amateur producer is that professionals obsess over details and amateurs are typically like too zoomed out in a way, like you're not thinking about the details. And so a big part of making that shift from like an amateur kind of mindset to like a professional mindset is you have to care deeply about nuance. And that is, that is really, it's really tough to do. It's there. It's, there's not like a here, do this. And like, that'll, that'll help. Like so much of this is like an experience thing. And this is, this is also why I preach on this channel. And I preach just in general that when you're starting out, if you're, if you're not making music, that's like at the quality that you would consider professional or like comparable to what you want it to sound like, you have got to just pump out as much music as you can and stop worrying about the quality instead focus on cranking out 10 songs 20 songs 30 songs 40 songs 50 songs like this year alone i'll probably produce 150 songs in this year and i know some amateurs who they haven't they haven't like they'll they won't even produce 150 songs in 10 years and then they're wondering why they don't sound like a professional it's like because you haven't gotten the reps in, dude. Like, that's like saying, I go to the gym once a month. Why am I not in shape? It's like, because you go to the gym once a month. Like, you need to be going five days a week. And so if you're trying to train for a marathon or get in good shape or get a six pack or lose weight or whatever, it's not a once a month thing. It's a daily thing. It's an every single day. I'm going to chip away at this every single day. And again, like this is part of the difference between a professional attitude. I'm not talking about quality. I'm talking about attitude. You might be making music you're not proud of right now, but you can have a better attitude and a better mindset that is going to help you grow faster. And that mindset is a mindset of, I am going to make as much freaking music as I possibly can in the next month, in the next week, in the next two months, the next six months, year, like set aggressive goals. Like I remember a time when I used to, um, like, I remember a time, like years and years and years, this is like 12, 13, 14 years ago. Well, like, yeah, like I would, I would work on like a couple songs a month. You know what I mean? And now it's like, I'm working on multiple songs per week. You know what I mean? And like, those are songs that are going to be done because they have to be done. And so, yeah, like the mindset shift is, is one that you need to like the, the way you get to a point where you can hear the nuance is by, is by repping it every single day pumping out a ton of music. Like I, I hear a lot of people are like, well, I can't hear the vocal nuances. I can't hear those rhythmic nuances and things like that. It's like, because you're not spending enough time practicing. Like, do you think this is just going to whack you on the face? It's not going to just whack you in the face. Like your ability to listen to something and immediately figure out, oh, this is what this needs. That doesn't just punch you in the face someday. It didn't just punch me in the face someday. You know, so it's just like, at the end of the day, it's like, I, I was not born a professional producer. Like my music sucked, freaking sucked for like four years. So like, whenever I hear people like, oh, like you're just, you're just like talented. It's like, no, like, yes, <laughs> there is natural talent. Like we, we all have some varying degree of natural talent. But if you're relying on some some natural talent for you to like become whatever it is you want to be, good luck with that. I, I would take someone who is motivated and dedicated every single day over someone who is just super freaking talented. And so the the um, outliers are the people who are very talented and also work really hard. Those are the outliers, and th th that's when you start finding the people who are just like completely next level. Jacob Collier esque people, right? Like that you're just literally like, yeah, there's no chance. Like I'm going to, there's no way I'm going to get that good, <laughs> you know, because he, he did, he just has like a God given talent that also he works ridiculously hard. But all, all this is to say, if you're not happy with the music that you're making and you're trying to figure out how do I get better at hearing those nuances, come back after you produce a hundred songs produce a hundred songs first. Like, don't even worry about it right now. Your goal should be, I need to, I need to produce a hundred songs. And then I will look back in the rear view mirror and I will realize, wow, I actually hear a lot of the news, those nuances. Now, every song you get under your belt teaches you new things. 
So get as many songs under your belt. And you're learning something new every time. Like push yourself, like try new things, do new things. But you know what? Repetition, 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 repetition. <laughs> All right. Let's listen one more time and then we're gonna call the call it a call it a day. of the vocal you see how let's start that i'm like why why does this sound different the demons inside my head they say they want me dead but i know that i'm dreaming away always inside my brain thoughts make me feel insane i feel i'm one step from the edge i'm one more step away from this Falling apart. I don't want to be alone. I'm scared I'll die on my own. I'm afraid of the one I become. I know that I'm not alone, but feel like I got no one. No one who can save me from myself. Oh. I need some help I'm drowning in fear And anxiety Right now I'm feeling so alone Where did you go? So where did you go? I know that you're not the one The one I should blame When I brought this on to myself I don't still has a long ways to go. Um, I didn't produce this whole thing. There's still a lot of just nuanced stuff I'm going to add. Um, transition elements, probably some more drum stuff, uh, more strings, stuff like that. So, But for now, we're going to call it. Thanks for joining, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for hanging. We'll see you all later. <laughs>